The Wisconsin men's hockey team faces St. Cloud State for a pair of games this weekend at the Kohl Center with Friday's game kicking off at 7 o'clock and the puck dropping 8 o'clock on Saturday. I talked with junior Justin Schultz and sophomore Keegan Moyer about the upcoming series. Keegan, oftentimes when we talk to you, we're asking you about other guys. Uh, right now we're going to ask you about Keegan Moyer. Last weekend you came out with two goals against North Dakota. Tell us a little bit about your, your uh, offensive explosion up north. Uh, really, it was just kind of being in the right place at the right time. Uh, my, my teammates, uh, Ryan Little, he was uh, working it down low with, um, with Woodsy, and uh, I was F3 high in the slot, and then uh, they had uh, taken it behind the net, so I would made a swing to the other side, and uh, they had come out, and he had kind of flubbed one to me. It was kind of waffling a little bit, but I tried to get as much wood on it as I could, and uh, it, uh, the puck had eyes, and it found its way into the net. This weekend you have St. Cloud State, a team that you already have a little bit of, bit of experience from uh, series uh, last year. So what do you take lessons from that series earlier this season and apply it to this weekend? Uh, obviously, we've looked at uh, some of the game film, that uh, some of the highlights, and some of the, the you know the offensive systems play that they do, and their power play and their penalty kill, and uh, we're going to look at that other series to try to learn their habits and get back into that mode and, and uh, study their their tendencies and stuff. But uh, you know, we kind of got run out of the rink that first night, and then we were able to battle back and uh, make a game of it the second night. We got a three-three tie. I know we would have uh, liked more, but it was good to have us battle back, and we're gonna we're gonna learn from our last series with them and hopefully come out with four points. Justin, obviously you've seen St. Cloud already this season, uh, took a loss on the Friday night, came back for a tie the next night. What specifically do you take out of what you learned from that series to be able to apply it uh, for this series coming up this weekend? Uh, I think how we just battled back on Saturday after coming out with a loss there on the road and then you know, coming in this weekend we want to you know, obviously get both wins and you know, kind of get some uh, revenge on them, redemption, and you know, make our way uh, try to get home ice here. Friday night uh, against St. Cloud uh, probably didn't go the way you wanted to, and then you did it fight back Saturday night. How much is it you look at it and say, no way they come to our ice and do what they did uh, that Friday night, and we got to focus on how we how we played that Saturday night? Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, Cole Center is our home, and we don't want to have other teams dictate how, how we play in there, and we want to take control and, you know, establish our fastball and, you know, play hard, and you got to do that both nights and uh, hopefully get two wins. Finally, uh, you've got about eight. Game, you have eight games left, I should say, uh, this season. What's the mindset of this team going into the last four series before playoffs start? Uh, every night, uh, every game, just going one and zero. Just worrying about that game, that period, and you know, taking care of that business, and then hopefully, you know, we can get some wins and get home ice. The Badgers enter the weekend just one point behind St. Cloud State in the WCHA standings, and just five points out of sixth place for home ice. For UWBadgers.com, I'm Mark Bennett.